Welcome to Legify, our online payment system. During this presentation, I will show you how to access chapter invoices from nationals, create invoices to your members, use the collection feature, send communications to your members, and view reports. You will go to Legify.com and sign in. This is where you put your log information for the chapter. If you happen to forget your password, you are able to reset it. Once you are logged in, it will bring you to the dashboard for the chapter. This is a quick overview of your financial situation. You can see how much you have passed due, your outstanding balances. Off to the right are the invoices to the chapter from the national office. On the left is the various tabs that you can go to for the chapter. You can check on your members, input invoices, you can put a budget in, then you can see all your reports. At the bottom of the dashboard page, you will be able to see which members have paid, how much, and if you click on details, it will tell you which invoice they paid. Off to the right is your bank information. On the left, you can file your 990. It will help walk you through the process. This section, I will show you how to view and pay the chapter's invoices from the national office. On the dashboard off to the right, you'll see the list of the invoices to nationals. Click on the Pay Now button. Once you hit the Pay Now button, it will bring you to this page that will list the invoices. You click on the invoice that you plan on paying. At the bottom of that page, you're going to want to make sure that the selected charges is the right amount that you're planning on paying and that you have the correct bank information and then just hit make payment. A member's account is created from the information that is provided to the national office when they register and we send it to Legify to set them up. This section, I will show you how to add your invoices to your members. On the left side of the dashboard is a tab for invoices, which will bring you to this page. On the right hand side is create new invoice. On this page, it will show all your members. You have the option to add all or just pick one member at a time. For this example, I chose Henry Clay. And as you can see, he got moved over to the selected members. To create the invoice, you will now click on Add a Charge. You now are on the page where you can create an invoice or you can copy an existing charge that you have done previously. If you choose to copy an existing charge, it will give you a list of all the previous invoices that you have done. If you choose an invoice that you have done previously, it will fill in this information for you. If this is a new invoice, you will have to go in and select all the categories that you need. Then you will hit Save Charge. If the invoice you are creating occurs monthly, for example, rent, you can set this up as a reoccurring charge. The reoccurring feature allows you to put in all the invoices and schedule them so you don't have to remember to do this every month. I chose an invoice of local dues for $400 to Henry. If I wanted to add another invoice for rent, I hit add charge and go through the process again. At the bottom of this page, you can add a message to let the member know what this invoice is for. Then Click on Send Invoices. Now go back to Members and you will see under Henry Clay that he has a charge for $400. This section I will show you how to record a payment if a member pays you directly instead of logging into his Legify account. Under your list of members, highlight the member that has paid. Off to the right under Actions, there will be three dots. Click on that and then hit Record Payment. 
put in the amount of money that they paid, and then mark whether it was check or cash, submit payment. If you are crediting their account, you follow the same procedure. Put a note in as to why you're crediting the account and hit account credit, submit payment. If you go back under members, you will see under Henry Clay that his balance is now $380. This section, I will show you how to set up a payment plan for a member. Under Invoices, you will click on the Advanced Filters tab. This page helps you narrow down what type of invoice you are looking for, whether it's a paid, past due, I chose all. Once you find the invoice that you are looking for, off to the right, under Actions, click on the three dots and then pick Payment Plan. Henry would like to split his remaining balance of $380 into four monthly payments. This is where you put the amounts in, the date you created it, and the dates that the payment is due. At the bottom of the page, you have an option of putting in a late fee amount that if Henry would happen to miss his due date, it will get added to that invoice. Then you hit Create Payment Plan. If you go back under Invoices, you will see where Henry's invoices are broke down to the $95 for each month. If you go under Henry's account, you will see that his original invoice for $400 has been deleted because he had made a payment of $20 and then you broke his remaining $380 down into a payment plan of $95. This section is on collections and hopefully you will never have to use it for any of your members. Under the collections tabs, you have the option to send a past due email or schedule a past due phone call to the member to inform them that this is their last chance to make payment before sending them to collections. If you choose to do a past due email reminder, this is one of the three examples of what the letter will look like. At the bottom of this page, it will list all your members with a past due invoice. Choose which one you want to send the email to, and it will go over to your selected members. Once you have that list over there, then you hit Schedule Past Due Email to be sent. If you choose the phone call option, this is the message that the member will receive. At the bottom of the page will be your members with the past due invoices that you will select to receive the phone call. Then click on Schedule the Past Due Call. If you still haven't received payment after all your attempts, you are now ready to send the member to collections. This page will show all your members that have a past due balance. You will have a choice of sending them all or doing them individually. John Smith was the only member that had a past due balance. He got moved over to the selected members. Further down the page is the contact information for the chapter. This will be the person that the collection company will contact if they have any questions about the member that you sent over. So please make sure that you have a good email listed along with a good phone number. The address is where the check will be sent to when they get paid from that member. At the bottom of the page is the agreement with the collection company Parson Bishops. Please read it over and if you agree, click the accept button and then submit to collections. This is the communication section of Legify. This is the different type of communications you can do with your members. Text them, email them, send them documents, send them the statements of their accounts, and the communications log will keep track of all of this for you. For example, if you want to send a text message to your members, you have the option of picking a few members or choosing all to send. Put your message in and then send message. This section, I will show you the various reports that you can pull from Legify. 
Under the report tabs, you can see the various financial reports that you can access and also member reports. This is the agent report on your members. This is your deposit report for when Legify puts money into your account. Click on the detail button and it will tell you who is paid and for which invoice it is for. If you use the budget feature and upload the budget into the system, you will be able to come to this report to see how well the chapter is doing with their income and expenses versus what was budgeted. For your member report, you can do just basic member contact information or you can customize your own report. For this example, I chose the member's name, their account number, their phone and email contact, and I wanted to see their outstanding balance or past due balance. Then click Generate Report. This is the report I just generated on the members. Here is my contact information. If you have any problems or questions with Legify, please send me an email or give me a phone call and I will be happy to help you.